Hey everybody, it's Rob with Cherry City Guns and Ammo, and today we're here to do another destruction video. Now, I've done several destruction videos in the past, usually using extremely big calibers like 500 Magnum and 50 Beowulf, and you've seen us blow up a ton of stuff. But today, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to blow stuff up with my smallest caliber. Stick around. Alright, so what we're going to use today is a 204 Ruger. Now since 2004, the 204 Ruger has been the ruling king of speed. It is the fastest production caliber available. It's a 20 caliber bullet, in this case it's a 32 grain, and this is supposed to be coming out of the barrel at 4250 feet per second. So while this is a very, very small bullet, it has some incredibly destructive capabilities just due to its sheer velocity. I use this gun a little bit, and this is my Savage Model 25 walking varmeter, and uh, I used it in my, my Thanksgiving video, and I got a lot of comments of people saying, wow, that 204 really blows stuff apart, that's really impressive. So I figured it was time to do a video just showing what this round is capable of. So starting out, down there, we're only about 30 yards. We're not worried about accuracy, although I'll tell you that this rifle is extremely accurate, and we will stretch it out a little bit today. Uh, but we're just looking at how destructive is that little tiny bullet at literally Mach 3.5. So right now at 30 yards, we've got some little tiny cans of soda. And uh, we're going to see how big we can blow those up. Let's do this. Now this gun is sighted in at 100 yards. I think I know where I need to hold, but I might have to mess around just a skosh. Wow, look at that. It's not even a can with a hole in it. It literally just shreds it into little teeny tiny pieces. How fun is this? I gotta reload, put a few more rounds in here. Look at that, the can's still sitting up there on top of the board, but it's absolutely flat as a pancake. There are little pieces of aluminum just falling like snowflakes. This thing is just awesome. Look, there's another one where it just left the aluminum sitting on top of the board. This is such a fun gun to shoot. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's set up some more targets and see what this thing's capable of. All right, let's see what it does to a two liter. Obviously those little baby cans, it really blows them up. But is this just gonna poke a hole in a two liter or is it gonna completely shred it? Well, I think it pretty well shredded it. All right, so, you know, this little tiny bullet, it's a varmint bullet. It's made to expand ridiculously on impact. We went ahead and lined up two two liters in a row. And I honestly don't know if it's going to actually even make it to the second one or if it's going to come apart as just when it hits the first one, just knock the second one over. Uh, so, yeah, this will be really interesting to see. I have no idea what's about to happen. I think the first or the second one is still whole. Let's take a look and we'll find out. Now as you can see, uh, and we did check it out to verify, that second two liter just got knocked over. These bullets are not made for penetrating. These are varmint bullets and I have never even seen like full metal jackets or anything like that in the 204 Ruger because it's just flat out a varmint gun. So we didn't actually even make it to the second two liter, but the first two liter absolutely obliterated. Now we've got two gallon jugs of water down there, and we're gonna see if we can even catch any fragments of bullet, uh, which I honestly don't know. It might blow up into such small pieces that we won't even find fragments, but we're gonna try it and find out. We put two down there, but it's not even gonna reach the second one. I can pretty much guarantee it. Yep, 
it just knocked the second one over. Well, let's go take a look at the first one, um, and we'll we'll find out if we can even find any chunks. I'll wait for my cameraman to get the camera disconnected from the tripod here. Now, with as wide open as it blew that, I doubt we're even going to find any chunks. Which, yeah, nothing at all. Um, you know, this hits with such a huge amount of force. It's unbelievable. We're missing... Oh, we got the other pieces over there. I mean, it, it just... It shreds. And you can see that's where we hit. And it, it just blew apart like you put explosive in it. And that's, that's the crazy thing about this 204 Ruger. That's what it does. It just explodes on impact. And that's what makes it, to me, really super impressive. I think it's about time to make some fruit salad. Let's do this. All right, pineapple on the left. All right, let's go for the cantaloupe. It absolutely shredded the cantaloupe. We're having pieces hit way over. Let me go ahead and finish off that chunk of pineapple on the ground. It's not impressive when it's sitting on the ground. All right, just to show you that it can do some long range stuff, and because we don't shoot it nearly often enough, we've got a head, a steel head out there at 100 yards. Let's ding it. And I'm not, and adjust my focus for 100 yards. There we go. Hit it with some authority. Let's hit it again. That piece of steel doesn't get worked out often enough. Now you know we can't go without uh, shooting some shaving cream because that's kind of become one of the staples when we're doing some destruction stuff. We gotta shoot some shaving cream. Granted, you could pop these with a 22 long rifle pretty easily, but uh, let's shred them with a 204. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. All right, my last 500 Magnum destruction video, I shot a piece of one and a quarter inch thick Lexan and it shattered it. Woo! <laughs> yeah, see, absolutely destroyed that piece of Lexan. We were picking up chunks all over the place. I honestly have no idea what the 204 Ruger is going to do to it. But I guarantee you we're going to find out. All right, one and a quarter inch thick piece of Lexan. Let's see what she does. Let's go check that out. So Lexan is some incredibly hard stuff. And this is an inch and a quarter thick. And we blew through it. Look at this exit hole on the back. It's absolutely freaking cratered. Um, the guy who gave me this has shot it a lot with a uh, 5.56 ammo out of an AR-15. And it took a lot of hits with full metal jackets to finally work their way through. But the 204 Ruger with a varmint bullet blew through on the very first shot. That thing's freaking incredible. All right, quick disclaimer for this next shot. Uh, we really want to test this against the clay block. Now, if you watch much gun YouTube, you may have run across a channel called Hootie Who, and he does a lot of testing of calibers against clay blocks. And he's a friend of the channel, and I, I don't want anybody to think I'm trying to steal Hootie Who's 
thing that he does. Um, I talked to Adam beforehand and got his permission to go ahead and do a clay block shot to test the 204 Ruger. So I don't want anybody, including him, to think I'm trying to steal his gig. I'm just really interested to see what this varmint bullet at this speed will do to a 10 pound clay block. So let's see what it'll do. Holy cow! It threw clay everywhere. Oh my gosh. All right, we had to come and show you this up close. So if you look, the back half of the clay block is still intact. But that varmint bullet traveling so fast and opening up so much, it just blew that piece of clay wide open. And you can see in here, there's little tiny chunks of copper from the jacket, just little teeny tiny pieces. I mean, that bullet absolutely came apart. That was so stinking cool. But there's enough clay block, guess what? We're gonna shoot it again. All right, I wanna show this. We had pieces of clay come back and hit the house. <laughs> that was incredible. But we still have half the clay block left. So guess what? We're gonna shoot it again. You ready? Safety off helps. And I got pelted by clay right in the knee. You know what? There's another chunk left. Let's hit it one more time. And I got pelted by clay right in the knee. You know what? There's another chunk left. Let's hit it one more time. <laughs> all right i think we pretty well destroyed that block of clay all right i mean the clay was kind of our uh kind of our, our grand finale this is a lot of fun i really this is my my favorite bolt action gun to shoot that i own um it's so much fun every time i bring it out i just i just have a blast with it there's like no recoil it's devastating it's accurate it's just easy to shoot um I, I love the cartridge. I love the gun. Once again, this is a Savage Model 25 Walking Varminter. Um, it's such, such a, a huge amount of fun to be had with this rifle. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you haven't had an opportunity yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you see when new videos come up. And if you wouldn't mind helping support the channel, I do have a, a link to my uh, Patreon down in the description. I would appreciate it tremendously, uh, but don't feel obligated to do it in any way, shape, or form. I'm happy to have you watch my videos and subscribe, and if you wouldn't mind, uh, like them and share with your friends. Uh, it means the world to me. It helps me out tremendously. I, I have a hard time making videos right now during the time of ammo shortage. Uh, so it, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to keep the channel running with no hiccups or, or bumps in the road. Uh, I appreciate it a ton, guys. Thank you very much for watching my video, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.